this is this is not cutting it anymore we need to upgrade this farm this is gotten us by for the time being but this is just this is too small we need to, we need an upgrade and today that is the plan no it wasn't for you so today we are going to tear up this old farm and we're gonna build up a bigger better one nothing too crazy but just enough to get us a nicer looking farm to kind of help the area which speaking of which uh, last time we were in the video this was not very green uh, we had very much a very stone floor by the end of the last video so kind of looking around we got the cows and sheep moved in we got all the grass growing in here uh, it's looking a lot nicer than it was before and actually uh, before I ended the last video came back in just for a quick clip and some drown decided to come up on the island and they both gave me a trident big win big win but anyways I think it's time we start planning out the next farming area which I want to be over here I just need to kind of adjust the shape real quick so we're gonna get out some cobble here and I think we're gonna start right, right here I want to do this like multi-tiered crop farm where like one is just above the ground and then the next farm is above that and the next farm is above that kind of almost in a u-shape here so I want to say probably not like that maybe uh, we're gonna have to go to sleep here in a second let's just do this as a very basic means of getting kind of a circular shape going see how that feels when we uh, sleep on it real quick All right, with the night slept away, let's see how we're looking here. Um, it could be a little bit nicer. I think, honestly, it's about the size I want to go with. So let's go ahead and make that our first one. And then I kind of want... Let's see, that's going to be up three, so... Probably going to have two stairs right about here here maybe I think is where the next one's gonna be building in threes makes things so much easier and something's off where did I go wrong Oh, this is four, isn't it? Yep. And that's where the problem was. Okay. So. I think this will be the lowest one. Right at this height. So I'm just going to fill this in with dirt. And plant on that. This one I think is going to go up three. And then over here. Let's see. How do we want to do this one? I don't know if I want to just mirror it, but one level higher or if I kind of want to offset it and see if I can pull off like an angle edge here, which that might be difficult to pull off. So I think we're just going to mirror it. All right, um, we're coming up to three. Okay. Right about there. Yeah, okay. And we're just gonna mirror that one real quick. And then I think we're just gonna go ahead and build this up. There, and with these last few carrots here, we have our farms complete. So, 
In the last clip, we started building up the platforms. And I think it turned out pretty nice. We uh, gave ourselves a little platform here to be our base grounds. Add some stairs to go around all the dirt with some birch fences. I think it's a nice contrast. Then we added some hanging lanterns in here to provide our light. And at first I was going to just place these on the on the fence right here, like these ones are. Pig, you're not supposed to be here. But then I'm like, you know what? Some hanging lanterns would look phenomenal and my stream chat agreed. Dom, what'd I say? Uh, like I said, stream chat. But I think it turned out pretty nicely. We got a little storage here for putting everything away. We got all of our crops planted and I think it turned out pretty nicely. Kind of fits in with the house. Wanted to, uh, kind of wanted to put in some like flower farms in between here, but it just didn't really work out. So I think I'm going to pass by on that. And we're just going to move on. I think the next thing I want to do is actually, I think it's time we put in an official mine. No more going over to a cave and just digging wherever. I think we're going to put a mine here on the island. And it's going to be right about in this area here. First we sleep. Definitely sleep. Okay, we go sleep. All right, so now we've got some space filled out here. Let's start building the actual structure itself. I think I want to do kind of a little bit of what this is in the, uh, in the structuring of the building here. I think let's actually go like one block out from there. I almost want to like start with the roof just so that way I can get a feel for my height because I also want to have like off to the side of this mine entrance to have a small super smelter. So let me guess I'll use cobblestone as a temporary block so I can get up here. We're going to build up the roof a little bit first just so I can get a feel for the height. Let's go back that. So that's that one, two, three blocks of clearance there. I think if we either go up another one, or maybe if we slowly go up these blocks actually, let's add a little bit of space in each one. So temporary block there. Let's go with something more like that. Just to kind of bring this roof out a little bit more. So it's not such a... Oops. Yeah, I kind of like... I'm actually liking that rise up a little bit better. We'll probably add slabs here to kind of fill in this angle here on both of these. But I think I like the direction we're going in. Maybe go one block higher. Of course, always the sun's going down when I'm trying to do something. And we'll do just like that. Maybe. Um, I didn't bring any slabs with me. And I'll probably have like a slab go up and out to finish it. But I think we got our general shape here. We'll make out these temporary blocks. Yeah, I think we can work with that. So I'm gonna go sleep the night away. Get, and then we will continue the build in the morning. So that's kind of the roof shape we're going to go with. Let's bring in some structure to it now. Let's say right about here. Yeah. All right. And then 
I think we want like a five wide entry point here. Two, two, five, I think. That way we can have some detail to the front entryway here. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit wider than I anticipated. Right, so that actually doesn't need to go any higher than that. Um, one more. There we go. And we will build out the roof like that. Thinking. Actually kind of want this to go down. A level. Hmm. I also want the walls to kind of like come in here first. If I do that. And realistically. We're not going to have much space, so I think, I think the walls are going to have to go flush with the logs or bring out the roof one more taller. I think we can build up the roof just a little bit higher. That's going to be the, that's going to be the way we go. chat trying to ruin my recordings yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna push this out one more so what happens when you uh don't pre-plan your builds they uh end up taking a while to figure out I think we're on to something here. We're not going too far out here. No, it didn't line up quite as nicely as there. Hey, you know what? I think we're gonna have to actually even go out one more. Yeah. This will be where these need to go. And this will give us more space inside, as well as making this match up a little bit better. And I will kind of decorate the front wall. And then we will go from there. So, thinking, kind of want to almost do a decorative inlay here. And then have the door. Which also, we are going to be making this floor out of cobblestone. So let's layer that in before we get a door put in. There we go. Now I was thinking we might just actually no, we need something that will be a full block that a door can connect to. What if we do like some stair work here? Here, hold hear me out for a second. Go up like this. I have a door in there. Yeah, and then build this up like this. I made it shorter than it needs to be, but we get the idea. And I think we'll also do some fence posts here. That is a lot of oak. We might need to break this up. But I think this gives a little bit of texture to the front. But that is a lot of oak. So I don't know, I'll work it out a little bit and I will come back to you guys when we have a finished product. Well, we've got the surface side of this mining operation put up, but before we get into that, I needed to wander off in search of some spruce saplings because I 
planted some trees and then forgot about the leaves and they despawned. So I got no saplings back and I needed more spruce. So I went off traveling in a boat and I found three different villages, two shipwrecks, and I, I just, I mean, look at this. I got two coast armor trims, nice. A heart of the sea, some diamonds, some emeralds. A couple of the uh, villages had libraries, so I got a bunch of books. One of the drowned gave me a nautilus shell. Pumpkins, saddles, like, we went up pretty good. Got some pretty good loot off of that trip. But that was all so we could make this. So last I left off with you guys, we were figuring out the entryway, which I decided to take out some of the oak in favor of birch to kind of break up the texture a little bit. I think it comes out pretty nicely here. But we go inside and off to the side, which we have ourselves a little simple but useful auto smelter to go right there. And then behind it, we have some storage, making use of the space behind it. We got a little bit of storage. I uh, don't, can't go any higher with this. So that's about the most we're going to get out of the storage. But anyways, the next part of this is to dig out the way down to the mines. And that's going to be quite a bit of digging. So we're going to get that on the next part of the agenda. Resources have been gathered, picks have been made, ladders are together, water buckets. I think it's time we start digging. In the last clip we finished building this up and now it's time to actually go down into the mines and start digging away. I'm going to start by going down to Y level 14, where we're going to get most of our iron and whatever else we can get while we're there. And then again, I think down at Y level 54, if I'm not mistaken, is where we're going to go down for diamonds. So I'm going to get digging down this stone and we will come right back when we're ready to start placing in our drop chute. So started digging down. And believe it or not, actually, hold on, let's make it a little more through here. This is exactly where I was intending to dig down to, Y level 14. And lo and behold, I popped down into a cave. Well, for, first of all, it was loaded with uh, mobs. So I had to fight for my life when I got here. But, I mean, there is iron all over. I've already found, where'd it go? Uh, 12 iron. I haven't even dug it all up, but I've got this big cave system, more iron, that I popped down into. But not only that, but over on this side, we have an abandoned mine shaft. Like, how lucky can you be to be digging down your official mine shaft, pop out into a nice cave like this, and it happened to be at the Y level you intended to dig to? is absolutely phenomenal but i need to get over how lucky i am and continue on with what my plan was here so i'm going to build out this little platform here just so i have something to walk out onto obviously this is going to take a lot of beautification later on but it'll do for the time being my intentions are first of all we are going to put a button here and I suppose for the time being a piece of cobblestone I guess in this spot for the time being, I'm gonna have to go back up at some point anyway so we'll deal with that later take our water bucket actually oh we got plenty of water down here I don't have to worry about water that is going to be able to stop our descent into the mine and we're actually going to place right here where we're going to continue digging down when we get out a trap door 
plop it right there with another button right in front of it. So that way when we drop down the chute, we're gonna land on the pressure on the uh, trap door here. And then, oh, well, it would definitely help to not be standing directly on the uh, back of the trap, uh, back of the trap door. But we should be right about here when we land because we're gonna push against the wall as we walk into the, tub the uh, tunnel. Press the button and we end up going back down to continue our descent into the diamond mining area. So I'm going to finish working on this and I will bring you guys back in when we've got our basic uh, elevator and ladder set up all complete and done. The digging is done. We have finally made it all the way down there. So let's uh, take a little plunge. First, we stop at Y level 14, the iron level, which as we already seen, turned out to be a pretty nice cave with a uh, mine shaft. But if we would have stayed here and we wanted to continue on, press the button. And now we're all the way down to Y level negative 59. This will be where we do our mining for diamonds. I haven't started the tunnel yet, but I guess where we're at. And unfortunately we haven't been to the nether yet, so we have to do it by ladder to get back up. Which honestly, I'm not even sure how that's gonna work with going back up to the iron level. Let's see if we can get off the ladder here. There we go, okay, cool. But um, we had a little bit of a complication in the uh, making of this uh, area. We had, well, not even the making of it. We went exploring to see what we could find in this abandoned mine shaft. And well, I'll let the clip speak for itself. All right, what do we got? Ooh, restock on torches. Name tag. Oh, you know what that means, chat. Uh, and it's time to start settling on a name. What's this one got? Glowberry. Oh, another name tag. Very nice. Running out of space, though. Um, oh, I need melon seeds. I don't have a melon. Got beetroot. I don't really have a need for glowberries, but you know what? We'll take them anyways. It looks like that's a dead end. Holy mushrooms. Holy chests! Look at this chat. We have three chests here. Can I stack them? Do the namesake stack? No. Oh, good call. Ooh. Protection 2, Feather Falling 2, Sharpness 2, and Loyalty. Hello. Um, where? Hmm. Random rail. Don't need that. Ooh, gotta be careful there, that's gravity. Blocks waiting to fall. Oh, and it's a dead end. Ooh, diamonds, let's go. And another name tag. I've got six diamonds now. And none of them are mined. Oh, um, actually, did I see some more below me? There's a chest down there. What are you doing down there? Well, that's fun. There's a lot of mobs down there. That does not look fun. Oh, there's more that way. Right, let's see if we can get some skeletons to take some shots at me. 
and kill some other stuff. No? Just random cart down there. Ooh, that's scary. It's a lot of mobs. Alright, uh, well. Oh, man, the zombies have a really good eye of uh, line of sight. Oh crap. Oh crap. I fell. Torch spam while I'm down here. Oh no. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Ow. Oh, there's so many. Hey, right, creepers. Just run around. <laughs> That's not nice. I'm out of torches. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Oh crap. Oh crap. No. <laughs> Zombie snuck up on me. Oh jeez. That is a kitted zombie. That is a kitted zombie. I'm back. Yeah, sons of guns. Where's all my stuff? Where's all my stuff? Did it seriously take that long that everything despawns? Everything despawns? I didn't take that long. Where's the god tier zombie? He had he picked up loot. You gotta be kidding me, game. There's no way I was gone five minutes. Absolutely no way. Well, I guess we'll see what's in here. Oh, we got one enchanting book back. I had melon seeds. Chat. I'm sad. Like, even the zombie despawned. He wasn't supposed to be able to. He had... He picked up items. Oh, wait. Is that him right there? How did he get all the way over there? Alright, well, there's my zombie. Well, that was a ton of fun, losing all of our stuff down there, but I think it's time we're going to leave the actual decoration of this area for a later date. Uh, we're going to go back up the mine shaft, and we're going to start working on a new project. I want to start uh, putting out the perimeter of the island, kind of giving it its shape and designing a boundary wall for the outside of the island. That's going to go around. We'll have a wall that goes straight from the floor level here down to protect us from any drowned and stuff like that. So I'm going to get some resources together for this and we will start shaping up our wall. Right, I've got this edge cleared up pretty nicely here. I kind of want this to be a lot of straight uh, hard corner walls. I don't want any like curves or anything. It just, I don't, I don't want that. So we're going to, we're ready to start putting in blocks. So we're going to get down here in the water. I'm going with a stone brick pallet. Actually, even that, um, trying to think of where this corner uh, log is going to be. So if it's going to be out of these, so the log is going to go here, so this one's not even necessary. We're not going to waste blocks and areas that aren't going to have stone. I think there will still be a dead space here though, so let's go ahead and put a torch. Just to be safe. I know there's water, but we don't need drown like hiding in this corner here. 
So let's do, I think we're gonna do sections of five. So two, three, four, five. I'm gonna build that all the way up. And my plan here, let's see, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three, four, five, perfect. So we're gonna build, uh, let's see, it's gonna go here. So we're gonna have some wood pillars for like support structures. And then I've got this little trick. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna have oak logs for up here. And then in the water, we're gonna go with a spruce log. And it kind of gives the look of like, it's saturated. Like that is the same log, but now it's wet. And I kind of like that effect. So that's what we're gonna do on all of them. And so every five blocks, we place that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we need some support here. Usually I like when I'm building into a hillside not to have like my logs or other support blocks directly on top of the terrain, but because it's so far down, I'm not I'm not putting logs all the way down there. Is that a trident? I think I saw a trident. Yes I did. What are you gonna drop for me? Well, that's an autoless shell, I guess. Almost got lucky. Anyways, so we're gonna go around every five blocks and then we'll put in our walls and our other logs. And I think this will be a nice little retaining wall, like breach kind of thing going on. Not gonna waste blocks in these spaces behind the logs though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm probably gonna actually build this corner out. I don't think I wanna cut in and then cut back out. So we'll do around there eventually. I'm not gonna shape the whole island right now. I just wanna get our wall concept down. So we're gonna build all the way up to the grass. Put in our logs. I'll get a couple of these segments and then we'll go further out and get a look at how this, uh, how this looks. <laughs> and we'll do this section of logs here and then let's go out in the water and have a look. Yeah, and then we'll have, I wonder if we'll do it like we did with the uh, with the farm where we put some stairs around the top and then have a fence line going. Might do that. I don't think I'll have the stairs go around the logs, but I think we'll have stairs go along the top of the stone and then we'll have a fence on top of that. And just like that, we have a section of the walls complete. We did, I did do a little bit of changes off camera. Uh, we swapped out the logs for a stripped variant just to kind of uh, steer away from all the log usage in the current builds. But I think it looks good. And I also added, carried on the theme of having the soaked logs. Well, I also started adding in deep slate bricks along the bottom to kind of have the same effect. And while it's very subtle, I think it's a nice touch. And then with the birch stairs and fence lining the top, our lantern style street lights, I think it came along pretty nicely. And it's just a start, but I mean, we got a long way to go with a lot of terraforming in between but it looks good and we are we're coming together pretty nicely here on the starter island i think before we end out the episode though we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna put in our nether portal it's time we need to see what's on the other side of the nether we're running we need some resources from down there i want quartz i want soul sand we need the stuff so we are going to put in our nether portal, and I think it's going to be down here. I mean, this island, this part of the island still isn't shaped properly, but 
we have the general idea. Probably gonna come out to like here. We'll cut this section off. But still gonna go out here, go across here, and do all that. So I think we're gonna put our nether portal right in here and eventually make it look nice. So I'm gonna go get the resources for that and we shall be right back. I'm actually really glad that I went out and did some exploring earlier and found some diamonds in a uh, shipwreck treasure because without those diamonds I wouldn't have been able to go mine the subsidian. But let's build our portal as it's been a while. So it's too wide. Um, I think that's pretty well centered there. Build up. I feel like I'm still building this wrong. I thought it was... Oh, maybe it's 10 without the corners. That's what it was. Well, thankfully I went and I actually mined 15 blocks. I just now won't have the excess that I thought I did. As you can see, I put away all of my stuff because I'm... I'm going into the nether naked. I don't know what's going to be on the other side of that portal. So I'm not risking my stuff just to be sent right back. Let's get some scaffolding blocks real quick. As you can tell, it's been a little while since I've made one of these. I knew 10 was a number, but I forgot that it was... I forgot that that was a number for minimum portal. Anyways, let's uh, add some, a little bit of decoration here. Nothing too crazy. We're just going to throw in a, like a brick foundation and surround it with stairs. Just as like a starting point for decorating this. Is that nothing crazy, but it's still a little something extra. We'll decorate this in the future. Uh, I think we got plenty of torches around, so we don't have to worry about lighting that, but here we go. Let's go see what we have on the other side. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Come on, load in, load in. I don't want to die trying to load the nether. Okay, uh, please. Please. Um, hello? Game? Oh. Well, that's a drop. Okay, so we got a basalt delta. Basalt delta? Is that it? Those are baby striders. I don't think I've ever seen babies before. Uh, this is not the greatest spawn. We are really high up. I mean, if we wanted to use basalt, we'd have it. A lot of black stone. Don't think that's in the build palette for the future, but... Um... I'm not super happy with the build location, though. So let's go ahead and cover the back side of the portal so we don't fall in or get knocked off the ledge. That way we only can come out one direction here. Um, probably should have brought more blocks, but I just kind of wanted to see what we were working with. A lot of drops. This nether spawn feels like dead Zenic many times over. Let's see if we can safely get out of here. Probably not with all these magma cubes jumping around. Well, at least we went through the portal. We can say we've done that much. But I think that's actually where we're going to end it for the today. We've done quite a bit with the island so far in this, this series. We're only in episode two. 
We've got our house built. We've got our mine started, some farming area. We're starting our perimeter wall and we've seen what's on the other side of the nether. I'd say we're doing pretty good. So, if you liked this video, do please leave a like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, we still haven't named the dog. I think we're going to keep this open until we find some name tags, which, um, as you saw earlier in the video, we had name tags before we were rudely stolen from by the server. But he still needs a name. And until we officially get a name tag for him, it's open. So, down in the comments, name the dog, let's we'll see what we can get for him. But until next time, I hope you all had a good time in the video, and I will see you next time. Take it easy.